me, it's Dave. This video we're going to see now is going to be about a couple, about three macroinvertebrates that you can find in vernal pools. One is a phantom midge, another is a water mite, and the third is a water scorpion. They're all very cool and they're very, very, all very unique to the ecosystem. Now I chose not to put in fairy shrimp because I already have a video on fairy shrimp, specifically for fairy shrimp, so that's why I left them out. But first let's get started. This is what's called a phantom midge, a phantom midge larva to be exact. They're pretty tiny, they only, uh, they're, they're less than an inch in size, and they have uh, antenna on the front that kind of act like hooks. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here, there's uh, the head of one and that's a hook, then over here it's kind of like from the top view. They also have these uh, air sacs that act like ballast because they'll hang out in the water column, and a water column is kind of like if you took um, a vernal pool and let's say if it was a foot deep, you just took a vertical section of that, that would be a water column. And what they'll do is they'll inflate and deflate these water sacs so they'll rise and lower in the in the vernal pool. Now they, they are nighttime predators, so during the day they're most likely going to be on the, the vernal pool ground. And as you can see, they are incredibly uh, translucent. It's very hard to see them. Um, but they eat, they are predators, and they eat mosquito larvae. They eat a whole range of, of things that they could fit in their mouth. Uh, so that's, that's one of them. Now they are preyed upon by um, salamander larvae and probably frog larvae as well. They're not frog larvae, but frog adults. Um, but also the way they get through the water is kind of cool. They, they wiggle almost. They're kind of just like... That's how they get through the water. They kind of spastic, uh, kind of like a water mite, which is actually the next, uh, the next creature that we're going to look at is the water mite. Now there are there are many different species of water mite throughout the world uh, in vernal pools. The ones that I've seen have been mostly red, although they do come in uh, shades of tan, shades of, shades of uh, blue as well. Now these guys are incredibly tiny. They're even smaller than the phantom edge in terms of length. Now these they're, they're um, about quarter of an inch or smaller in length. Uh, as you can see, they're not very good swimmers. Uh, it almost looks like a spasm through the water. Uh, but they are, uh, they have, I think, three stages of life. And in some of the stages, in some of the species, they are uh, carnivorous. Others, they are, they eat plant matter, or they even eat carrion. Uh, and some of them are parasitic. So you'll, you might see some of these water mites attached to dragonflies, attached to crane flies, attached to uh, maybe water scorpions, which is actually the next uh, one that we're going to see. So let's. So this is a, a water scorpion. Uh, these guys are very cool. They're they're a lot, a lot bigger than the other two macros that we looked at. They they can get to be about uh, probably two and a half inches uh, in length. So they're fairly uh, large in size. They are ambush predators. And what that means is they'll hang out in the vegetation. Uh, you can kind of see their legs right here. And then they have another pair, but they'll hang on the, the vegetation, and as soon as something comes by, in this case, it was a back swimmer um, that got a little bit too close. And what the scorpion will do is they have these forearms that kind of act like knives, like jack knives, if you will. So they'll be out there, and then all of a sudden the prey will come by, and they'll, whoosh, they'll grab it, and then what do they do with it? They kind of position it, and then they have a beak for uh, part of their face, and what they'll do is a they'll puncture that animal and then they'll put out some enzymes that uh, soften up the tissue and <laughs> they slurp it back up like a slurpee. So uh, um, they are harmless to people, thank God, because that seems like a horrible way to go. Uh, but they are pretty cool. They, they, on their tail they have two filaments that kind of come together and poke through the water surface just a little bit and that's how they breathe. Uh, so again, they're not harmful to people. Uh, we're going to see some video of them as well. Now, in one of the videos, um, I think it is the Phantom Midge video, which is the first one, we're going to see, uh, very briefly, a little mosquito larvae wiggling through the water, and then all of a sudden, a back swimmer, one of these guys, comes by and actually eats it. And it happens pretty quick, but that's what that, that's what's going on there. Did not expect that. All these videos were filmed out in the wild. Uh, none of the animals were hurt. Uh, for the Phantom Midge and the Water mite, we did scoop uh, two of them out, uh, or a couple of them out, uh, in little petri dishes out in the field to get some better uh, video footage so you can see what they look like. 
uh, and then we release them unharmed back into the, the wild. And we do that separately. But I'm giving you all this information now because it's just too much to put up on the, the screen. So I hope you enjoy uh, this video and I encourage you to look for other information regarding macroinvertebrates, especially in vernal pools. Uh, they are a natural resource, they are a great little ecosystem, and they're kind of endangered in a sense because they're being destroyed at a rapid rate because people either don't know about them or don't care about them. Uh, and that's something that we want to, we want to prevent. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy uh, some of this macro video.